It's finally finished! Welcome back, you guys. I'm Billy D. This is Drink Smoke Build, and today we are leveling the ground for my 20 foot above ground pool after this. Welcome back you guys. I'm Billy D. This is of course Drink Smoke Build and I'm going to go through and start cleaning up this part of my yard so that I can level a spot for our new 20 foot above ground pool. We already leveled a spot over here for a 15 foot pool a few years ago. It's not big enough so we're going to have to expand it but first I'm going to have to get the Suburban and the Uplander started and moved. The trailer with all the tires on it, gonna need to get it moved. Then I have a trailer behind that, I'm gonna have to move that. Take down the remnants of the tire wall that is behind the Suburban, and then clean up around the garden boxes. And then I can finally start clearing a spot to stick the pool and the fence that is gonna go around it. So let's go ahead and get started.
don't get many snakes on the property, but when we do, yeah. it's these widow earth snakes. That's not an earth snake. What is it? That's, that is an earth snake. Oh, no, it's not. It's a viper. It's a baby viper. That is not a viper. Prove it. All right, you guys tell me. Okay. In the comments. Nope, it doesn't have it. Exactly. This is an it earth snake. We don't get venomous snakes in this part of the city. But you guys tell me in the comments, what do you think it is? I'm leaning towards Earth Snake. Yeah. You let me know. Oh my gosh we finally got the cleanup stage of this project finished we're gonna come back tomorrow morning and we are going to finish leveling this out and getting it ready for our 20-foot pool it is the next day and we have completely finished clearing the spot for our above ground pool now on to step two which is staking the corners and putting the level lines in and then step three is going to be setting the retaining wall, which I will use landscape timbers to do that. And then we can fill it in with dirt and we'll be ready to set up the pool. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start hammering the stakes into the ground. But of course, before we do that, we need to take our measurements and figure out exactly where they need to go. There you have it. We finally got all of the timbers in place. They're just mocked up at the moment, as you can see. The next step is we're gonna go through and we're going to drill holes into each end of each timber, and we're going to drive rebar through those into the ground to create some rigidity, some structural support for when we start dumping dirt in here so as you guys can tell we have a lot a lot of dirt that we're going to have to put in here the one ton we have over there is definitely not going to touch it so we will definitely be heading to the dirt store multiple times over the next couple of days to make sure that we get enough in here to level this whole section off so that we have a nice safe stable base for our pool so I'm going to go ahead and crank up the generator, grab the drill, and start drilling the holes for the rebar and then placing the rebar in those holes. And I won't time lapse this. I'll jump cut around so you guys actually see exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Not difficult, super easy. Anybody can do it. You don't have to use a big hammer drill like I'm using. You can just use a normal handheld a battery powered drill should do the same thing that I'm going to do with this just take you a little bit longer 
So let's go ahead and get to that now. Okay, so I've got the timbers all set. Now all I need to do is anchor them in place so that they don't tip over. What I'm going to do here is actually sandwich these end ones in place and put a hole right through the center of these two end pieces to keep it from flaring out once we put the weight on the back side. I'm going to be using 12 inch, half inch rebar and driving it straight down into the ground. So let's go ahead and start drilling those holes. bring it off okay so evidently these are a little bit bigger around than the last rebar I used so the bit I have isn't big enough and instead of digging through all of my bits I hammered this in most of the way and now I can't get it out so I hollowed this hole out so that this will fit down in through that nice and snug and uh, I don't have to worry about trying to get this out so we're just gonna flip it over and it goes down in nicely nice and anchored and it's quite a bit deeper than it would be if I hammered it in from the top so we'll just have to keep that in mind and make sure that we hollow these out before we hammer them in. Let's go ahead and move on to the rest of them. Get this finished up. Well, I'm going to have to drill all the way down with the second wing because And there you have it. Finally got all of the timbers in, all of the rebar hammered through. Definitely was more of a struggle than it should have been. Took about five times longer than it should have. I'll talk to you guys more about that here at the end of the video. But for now, we are finished for the day. So we'll come back tomorrow morning and fill this in with dirt, make multiple trips to the dirt store, get this leveled off, get the pool set up, and fill it with the water. So don't leave. I know it's been a long video. Don't leave. We're almost there. See you in the morning. It's the next day, and we are finally ready to start adding soil 
to completely level this off. Right now, we're sitting at the dirt store. We're about to go in and place our order, and I'm hoping to take you guys through that whole process now. So yeah, I need uh, two tons of fill sand. Look at that, she's still got lots of room. I've had her touching the fenders before. Sweet. Thank you. It wasn't started, there we go. How's it going? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Have you guys shot you yes, I'm Billy's creation. It's gonna be $96.94. What was the weight? Okay. Guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to Minic Materials in Oklahoma City. They are absolutely the best. They've got the best prices and are absolutely awesome when it comes to customer service and getting you taken care of. Guys, make sure you check them out if you live in the area. You can't go wrong. They've got everything from rock to soil uh, for all purposes, landscaping, gardening, you name it. Stand up. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Hey guys. Shake them out. Shake them out. There you go. <laughs> well, we got back from the dirt store and it is just absolutely too hot during the daytime hours to do this. So we're going to be dumping this here in the evening. And as the sun goes down, probably bring out the lights we'll do all this on time lapse. It does take a while to get this done, but this is one of the most important steps is getting all this leveled and then pounded down. Let's go ahead and get to it.
three tons, that's over 12,000 pounds of fill sand that we have spread and semi sort of leveled out. We're going to need probably another two tons, give or take, to be able to finish this out and bring it to the perfect level that we need for our pool. But before we do that, we are going to wet this down and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now. So the reason that I like to wet the sand down between the loads of sand is because it helps with several different aspects of leveling out. One, it makes it a lot easier to move the sand around and when it's completely dried out, it's, it is very, very light in area and does not level very well and doesn't move very well. And if you have a high wind day, which in Oklahoma is very, very common, then you are going to have sand blowing everywhere. So I like to try to keep the sand fairly moist, not wet, but fairly moist to be able to move it better, keep it from being stirred up by the wind, and it is much easier to level without getting lumps and divots in the leveling surface. So those are the reasons why I like to wet down the sand because it mainly makes it easier to work with and easier to level. All right, I'm gonna pick up that fourth ton of dirt and we are going to get it tossed on here and hopefully get the pool up quickly after that. So let's go ahead and move on to that. over 16,000 pounds fill sand dropped. We still have to level it completely out, but we're gonna get it all finished today. Thank you for spending the sunrise with me as we got that last load undone. Let's go ahead and get these chickens out and let them run off to the chicken yard and then we'll move the truck, eat some breakfast, and then get back to leveling things out and get that pool set up. some string lines, run some line levels, and then drop the tape measure and see how level we are. But first, we have to run a circle around our center post to know exactly where we need to level out for the pool itself. A lot of you might be asking, why did I level such a huge area? 30 foot by 30 foot for a 20 foot pool. Well, there's several reasons behind that, but it's mainly behind the fact that I am going to put a fence up 
where the retaining wall is and I need to make sure that I have enough room to run my ZTR all the way around the pool and be able to do that in both directions and not have to worry about trying to push mow it. So that's one of the main reasons, but I have a bunch of other reasons as well. And that is really honestly to have a nice level area for a bigger pool in the future. So let's go ahead and let's get to running these streamlines out. So after becoming frustrated of not getting this level the first time, which is pretty typical, I took a little break, thought about it for a while, and decided to come back out, level it out a little better, go pick up some pavers to um, put the legs on so that the legs don't sink down into the sand. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I didn't do a good enough job of explaining what I do with the water, I don't think, earlier in this video. So I wanted to let you guys know that one of the main reasons, especially when you're continually adjusting, trying to level out an area, is to see where the water pools. As you guys can see here, after having the sprinkler on for about 30 minutes or so, I have a really good idea of what spots I need to bring dirt away from and dirt into. So as you can tell, I don't know how well you can tell on camera, but here directly in front of me in this about quarter portion of the circle is a little higher than the rest of everything else. And then over there, um, a smaller spot as well. I'm going to scrape that back after this dries a little bit. I'm going to scrape that back and try to fill in this section over here where the water's a good inch deep and obviously way below our level. Above that, as you can see, the little ring that I put in place to kind of hold everything in, that'll get compacted down as I put the pavers in. So this should all be perfect and level as we go forward and get this pool installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up those pavers, come back, level, and then try to get the pool up today. So there we go, guys, we're done. We've got it leveled. We are now ready to install the pool and level the pool as we put it in. So we're going to get to that in the next video. So I want to thank you guys for joining me as we level this out. I know it was a long video, but it was a lot of work. It took us over a month. So definitely thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you leave a comment below. 
Yes, I know I've done a lot of things the unconventional way and definitely some ways that set us back. But hey, it's only my second time ever doing this. So I'm pretty proud and happy with the way that it's turned out so far. And I think that uh, putting the pool up is actually going to go a lot smoother um, than uh, it could have. So we'll go ahead and get to that and show you that in the next video. But first, made a little montage that I'm going to uh, put that in here at the end. Much love, you guys. Billy Dunn, peace and on out. We'll see you in the next one. All right, so here we go, guys. Got the plane flying over, so that'll go in the blooper reel. A lot of you might be asking, damn rooster. Of course, it's raining. Bloody drinking out of here.